It's estimated we see anywhere from 4,000 to 10,000 ads a day. And this stack of articles all reference that stack. But this can't be right, right? There's no way I see 10,000 ads a day. If you were exposed to 4,000 ads a day, you would see an ad every 14 seconds. If that number was 10,000, that means you would see an ad every six seconds. So I looked into it and found out my intuition was right. No one seems to know exactly where this data came from. So I decided to count every single ad I saw in a day, from Google searches to social scrolling to traditional ads to get to the bottom of this mysterious number, or at least what I thought was the bottom. It's 6 a.m. and I've already been served four ads. <laughs> Good Lord, maybe I do see a couple thousand ads a day. There's nine right in front of me. There's so many ads. Okay, so this whole idea came about because of YouTube Premium. I've used the premium feature for years, so I don't see ads on the platform before videos. But someone showed me a video on their account and they had to watch two ads before the video would play, which seemed insane to me. Our world went from traditional advertising like billboards, flyers, and radio ads to this. We estimate we can sell up to 80% of an individual's visual field before inducing seizures. So I did what I usually do when I have a question. Hmm, interesting. But where is this source from? Well, that's when things got weird. The more I read and the deeper I looked, the less it made sense. Let me take you down the rabbit hole. If you go into the source that Google cites, it's a blog post from Zipia, a career mentor website. And number four on their list is how many ads does a person see in a day? But it doesn't link a source. However, if you go down to the references at the bottom, the 12th source is how many ads do we see in a day in 2021? So I continued down the rabbit hole coming to a blog post from Lunia, an ad spend marketing product company. And their blog post is now called, How Many Ads Do We See in 2023? Written in 2021. Whatever, continuing on. <laughs> they quote market research firm Yank Kilovich, who estimates that in 2007, we saw up to 5,000 ads per day. Luckily, they did cite their source, which is a New York Times article from 2007 titled, Anywhere the Eye Can See, It's Likely to See an Ad. That title still feels relevant. <laughs> Apparently, Yankilovich surveyed around 4,100 people to get this number, but there's no link source to where this number actually came from. Where is the survey they reference? Where is the study? Where is the real data to prove this number could possibly even be real? And outside of this New York Times article, there's nothing on the internet that I could find about this survey. Nothing. And the strangest part of all this is that this is a stat that every blog post and article eventually points back to. I'll prove it. Lunio, who cited the New York Times. Adlock, who cited Lunio, who cited the New York Times. Clario, who cited the New York Times. 75 Media, who cited Clario, who cited the New York Times. Adelix, who cited Lunio, who cited the New York Times. SJ Insights, New York Times. Malware Fox, the New York Times. It all goes back to the New York Times. Every single one of these, it goes back to this one article. But as I was wrapping up research on this video, there was a massive breakthrough. One article that changed everything. Sam Anderson from The Drum had the same question I had. And he was able to track down Jay Walker Smith, who was the president at Yankilovich research firm back in 2007. And Sam straight up asked him, where did this 5,000 ads per day number come from? And he said, our intention was not to endorse any particular number, only to say that marketers and those who study marketing are concerned about growing ad clutter. So these numbers are all legit made up. I knew it. I knew it. My intuition was so spot on. This gut is right most of the time. Most of the time. Some of the time. A little bit of the time. Whatever. So that brings us to now. With a bullshit stat and still no real answer. So we got to test it. And I got something just for that. Ooh. I figured the best way to do this was go old school, a little analog action. Every time I see an ad, I'll click this little satisfying button. Oh yeah. Oh, that just scratches the brain. And listen, this is just my experience. I'm in no way claiming that the results are conclusive in any way. I mean, I live in suburban Nashville, Tennessee, and I would bet my colleagues in New York City see way more, like a ton more. So 
take my experiment with a grain of salt. But before I start counting, it's important to clarify what exactly an ad is. Some research I found argued that any brand name on any product is technically an ad, which would have made that number somewhat believable, but not fully. However, an ad is defined as Advertise. To call public attention to, especially in order to sell. Hey, you know me, Scott Elder here from Elder Mitsubishi. So to me, this is a label, not an ad. This is an ad. Nothing melts away the cold like a delicious hot bowl of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Let it snow, let it snow. It's 6 a.m. and I've already been served four ads <laughs> by our own newsletter. But if you need night guards, we got you. This episode is presented by American Express. It's finally summertime, which means it's the best time of year to dine. This episode is brought to you by Indeed. When you're hiring on your own, it can feel like you're sourcing ingredients in a million different places. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Good Lord, maybe I do see a couple thousand ads a day. There's nine right in front of me. How have I never noticed this before? There's so many ads. Alright, after a full Saturday of counting ads, I saw a total of 78. <laughs> not even remotely in the ballpark of 4,000 to 10,000. But those are the 78 I did see. What about the ads I didn't see? Outside of traditional advertising, a new layer has developed, a layer that blends into your reality, one that has taken over your social feeds. Influencer marketing. Social platforms aren't only filled with traditional paid ads, they are now filled with ads by creators and influencers. US social media ad spend was 56.8 billion in 2022. Influencer marketing is pushing towards 6 billion this year. That's a lot. Your favorite food creator is making tacos? Oh, hell yeah. But wait, is this an ad for bounty paper towels? Yes, yes it is. And sometimes when a brand pays an influencer to promote their product, it's not always obvious. But the thing is, the FTC has rules and restrictions on how ads have to be presented. Influencers should always make it very clear to their followers if a post, video, or statement they're making is in a material partnership with the owner of the product. However, creators and influencers are crafty, and many times that ad disclaimer gets hidden at the bottom of a long caption, or buried between lines. Social platforms have developed tools to help you know when it's an ad, but they still slip through if not posted correctly. It's this kind of advertising that has become the unseen, the ads that you have no idea are ads most of the time. Traditional advertising is usually loud and in your face, trying to get your attention. Get your ShamWows now and save time, save money, and save yourself. But the new layer is quiet and subtle, getting your attention through trust. And this comes as people are spending more and more time on these social platforms. The average person spends around two and a half hours a day on them. And really that seems on the low end. Most people I know are in the four to six hour range. So do we see 4,000 to 10,000 ads a day? No. But I'd say the 78 I saw was on the low end. I most likely saw way more. And for me, it was 78 obvious ads. But that new layer of advertising snuck past my counter. We've become so accustomed to ads being all over our content. I think my brain went into autopilot looking for obvious ads. So we might not be at the Ready Player One level of ads surrounding our life, but we've reached a point where it's starting to blend into our reality. It's not as easy to spot the ads. They aren't just a placement before or after the content, but the content itself is the ad. And I say all this not from the side of ads are bad, but from the side of understanding how they're showing up in our lives and how many we're actually seeing a day, which is not 4,000. <laughs>